Hey guys, it's Bob Morreale here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, I'm sitting with Dion Forbes, and we're going to be discussing what is and is not EFI tuning. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting here with Dion Forbes, our newest Ford instructor. Thank you. Welcome to the team. Good to be here. You feeling good? Yes. It's your first ever Tech Tuesday. You're up for the task? Definitely. All right, man. <laughs> so if you're feeling ready, I'm gonna go right into it. Okay. All right. What is tuning and what is not tuning? Let's start with that. And then we'll drill it down a little further from there. Okay. So tuning would be just basically enhancing any part of a vehicle, okay. whether it's suspension, brake tuning, so on and so forth. Good, okay, um, so big picture, it could be anything. Yes, could be, yes. And in our case, we're gonna talk specifically more about a trying fuel injection tuning. Yep. Going down from there to, what does that particularly cover? So that's gonna be modifying the airflow, fuel, and spark tables to get the car to work better okay. than we got from the manufacturer. Okay, so a lot of times you find that um, <clears throat> customers are putting things on the car which change how the engine was from the factory to maybe put more power through it, right? Correct, yeah. And so in what aspect is EFI tuning going to occur there? Having the ability to adjust everything to get it back to running like it was stock versus we popped a carburetor on there to make a bunch of power okay, and it drives terribly, terribly down low, but now it's Great up top. Got to push gas pedal, get it started kind of thing? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so that's not EFI tuning. So no. I, I see where you're going with this. Definitely. Okay, so some of the benefits for, you got EFI on a vehicle and you've got a big old cam or a blower or something. Some of the benefits for, for being able to EFI tune it, where does that go for you? Where do you start with? Generally, if it's a, a MAF vehicle, I try to start there to make okay. sure the air, the fuel, the spark is, is right. So whether it's a big horsepower car or high horsepower car, you want to make sure that the airflow is correct. Is accurate. Yeah. So that leads to better drivability. Yes, 100%. Okay. So startup, you can do a way better job with startup with a fuel injected vehicle than you could a carbureted vehicle. Correct, even with a really big cam. Okay. You can get it to idle and, and work as it should, whereas before it's just, hey, this is what you get. Sure. <laughs> big cam drives bad. Yeah, the, the, okay. it is what it is. So you can dial in a bigger cam to drive a lot better just because of the fact that you have control over or, and what are you controlling specifically when you're doing that? Well, you're controlling the air the, in the fuel mixture to get it dialed in. What's one of the biggest problems Fords have after some mods like that? You'll have a little bit of idle surge. The other thing would be just in the way that the transmission will now start to behave okay. with the added power and, and torque torque tables. So maybe you need to do some adjustment to how that transmission wants to behave after you've added this power. Correct, yeah. So I'm hearing drivability. Well, for me, drivability is where I spend most of my time. Okay, that's and good. And the least amount of time I spend is in wide open throttle because it's the easiest. Which is the opposite of what I think most people think when they think, I'm going to get a tune. I believe so. Okay. I honestly think most people think that the Wide open throttle is gonna be where the tuner is gonna spend hours and hours and hours. Whereas right. for drivability, that's that's the hard part. That's, you know, your stop and go traffic, pulling up to your kid's school, sure. making sure your car doesn't shut, sure. <laughs> shut out there. Don't want to stall, roll yeah, in. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some other things aside from the idle and part throttle stuff and maybe the performance? How about some of the economy side and the emission side that we could do with EFI tuning? Well, the fact that we can add and remove move fuel in small increments in small places on the map, we can actually make the vehicle still very fuel efficient while it makes 1,000 horsepower. Right, yeah. never could see that before. <laughs> no. Could have never seen that before. No, not at all. No, I think that's funny because I think that with EFI came the ability to have even more power with more control. And I don't know if that was the original intent, but it just kind of worked out that way. Yeah. Okay, so talk to me about some of the dangers of tuning without knowing what you're doing. Obviously, the big one is costing a customer motor, transmission, whatever the case may be with that. Or, you know, um, hurting 
the person that, right. that owns the that driver. vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. you don't want to do that. No, not at all. So what the, <laughs> what's, what's a good way to avoid that problem? Get trained the right way, learn it the right way. This way you move forward doing it the right way. That's a good point. Yeah. For, for those of you who don't know Dion, he is one of our older students. And I don't mean old guy student. I mean, like, he's been around a while. Uh, but he started out as a student of ours and then ended up working his way up and now instructs for us. And so I always like to ask about people's journey. So Dion, tell us, how did you get started? When I came to the tuning school, I had already had some tuning knowledge, not right. as extensive as what I got from here. The big part of what I learned here was the proper processes, how to go through those proper processes to make sure that the vehicle worked and performed to its best of its ability. So that was a big helping um, part for me. And then the fact that you guys offer you know, if I have any questions, I can reach out and you can reach out in the community and, and the network kinda, of people kind of network it and juggle ideas off of each other. So that was a big helping for me to get to where I am today. Thanks for watching our video on EFI Tuning, guys. Dion, great job. On Thank your you. First Tech Tuesday. Thank awesome you for work. having me. Absolutely. Guys, for more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned. That was my Karate Kid close. Did you like that? Yeah, I'm out. Man, I have noticed you're a little too tall, and I don't know what the deal is with that. We keep hiring these really tall people. We gotta get you a tall stool. TikTok? Yeah. You guys are TikTok. I know. It's great. You are? Yeah. Three. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're social Neanderthals here.